What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Uh, been in the city for a few days, hadn't filmed, just went out, enjoyed the city, enjoyed Panama, my family, my, my friends. Went out to eat to a couple places and uh, I really enjoyed the pool at my Airbnb. That was a fantastic Airbnb. Because we're on our way to the beach right now. We just left the city. Uh, we're on the Inter-American Highway right here on our way to Costa Esmeralda. I'll show you guys where I'm going. But first, we're going to stop here at Delicias Margot. This is a fantastic stop if you're ever driving into the uh, countryside of Panama. Make a stop here. This is a typical 100% Panamanian restaurant, Panamanian food here. So we're going to go have some lunch here and enjoy this. One of my favorite stops. Let's go try it out. So this is a fantastic place to come try some classic Panamanian dishes, like traditional Panamanian dishes. My nephew over here got the arrojo wandu, it's like rice and purple uh, pigeon peas with chicken and potato salad and plantain. Uh, the chicken is just it's a lot of spices, really full of flavor, really good. Uh, we also ordered a bunch of fried uh, like frituras, just a lot of this is what we keep, we eat here in Panama sometimes for like breakfast, pick up an hojaldra, uh, we smoke pork over there, all chopped up nicely. And my son is having the, the tepica, which is chopped up beef, uh, that comes with lentils, so it's got the lentils with uh, potato salad as well and white rice, very, very delicious, and plantain, uh, that's like a baked plantain, it's called platano in tentacion, so here in Panama we make it different ways, if it's green, you know, we chop them, or slice them up, mash them and make them patacones. But when they're ripe like that, you can slice them up and just fry them and come out really crisp. Or you can bake them, add vanilla, I think a little hint of cinnamon, and that's what platano in tentacion. So that's what he's having in this dish. And aside from that, we got some chorizo as well. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna feast here and enjoy our Panamanian lunch here at Delicia Margo. Have a bite of the arroz con guandu, check it out. I'm going for another bite, that's delicious. And salada de papa and potato salad is like a must go. It's, it goes with these dishes. It's always served with the arroz con wandu, the chicken, or the bite picado. Mm. So they're known for their sopa de cotilla. It's a, what's it called? The beef rib soup. I don't know if that's the proper translation, but sopa de cotilla. They're really delicious here. Go ahead and try it here with a nice little bite. Mmm, hold on. That's really good, the, the rib, the meat, right off the bone, very tender. So this is a beef broth soup. It's been cooking all day over a slow uh, fire over there, wooden fire fogon, and uh, has like local vegetables, corn, it's got squash, zapallo, in Spanish zapallo, even yuca in there. This is a yuca. And for a drink, I got a refreshing lemonade with raspadura. That's a lemonade with a raw brown sugar, a raw sugar, I should say. Woo, that is so delicious, man. Very sweet, delicious. We got the typical playing in the background. Love it. All right, here we have the chorizo tableño here and a beef empanada, which I accidentally tore up there. Chorizo, I'm just gonna tear it off. Mmm, nice and crispy on the outside. A burst of flavors in my mouth right now. Not spicy at all. Very good. Probably a good idea to have this with some hojaldre, a little piece of hojaldre. Let's take a nice bite. Mm. So I, it's actually called chorizo santeño. And if you look on the inside of the chorizo, it's not like that ground beef that's stuffed in it. 
it's actually chunks of meat. All good. So chichime is a very popular drink in Panama. I'll, I'll just say it's, it's a must try if you come to Panama. It's a sweet drink. What they do is use the dry uh, corn kernels, grind them up a little bit, soak them overnight, and then they make this beverage called chicheme. They add cinnamon, uh, condensed milk, and I'll put some other ingredients here if I'm missing anything. But yeah, let's just give it a try. It's another refreshing type of drink. Very sweet though. Mm. And you have the bits and down here, little pieces of uh, the corn. All right, we're headed to the Airbnb. That was a delicious lunch. I really enjoyed it, man. Great prices. All of us ate for about 30 bucks, and we had a lot of food there on the table. Very, very good prices here. Delisas Margo, right here in Capita. Let's head out. Okay, guys, we made our way over to our Airbnb here in Costa Esmeralda. Let me just show you real quick a little bit of it. I'll show you some more later on, but fantastic little house. It's got a nice pool, salt water pool, nice porch out here, Bluetooth speaker. We got the hooks here for the hammocks and we have a grill over here, an outdoor kitchen. Check that out. And then over here we have an outdoor shower, toilet, sink. Family's already in the pool. But we're heading to the supermarket to go buy some food and stuff to have here at the house. All right, we're at the grocery store. This is El Manchetazo. And they have everything we need here. So let's get, let's get some chips and grab a six pack of pistachio. No, six pack. Let's get the six pack of seltzer here. I'll try it this time, but we'll try it. Let's get the Don Abuelo. 1365. Got a bottle of Malbec. I've never tried this kind. 625. What do, you think of the, what do you think of the prices there? Good. Good or? All right. Well, let's get to the food and we'll see. All right. see. Check out the prices on the rice. Two fifty-five for a bag of arroz. We oh, got yeah, two kilos. About the same as in the States. Not, not much saving there. This is where we're going to see if we save money or not. So I had to switch to my iPhone because my battery died. But we're filling the cart up. We're getting some burgers some hot dog buns drinks you gonna make some spaghetti on one of on one of our nights here i'm gonna get some coffee i found that these uh this is green that eleta coffee wasn't, wasn't too bad now your butter ball what turkey yeah. we're gonna grill that Check this out, we got entraña, skirt steak. Six pounds for 1962, that's really good. That's really good, in my opinion. Got some tortillas, we're loading up, man. We're gonna hit the grill tomorrow and just try to have a great time. This is our first night in Airbnb. That's why we're throwing down some spaghetti for the night, huh? Have some dinner, we're gonna go to the back, jump in the pool again, and call it a night. But uh, I don't know about the, the whole grocery shopping here in Panama. A lot of people are like, it's cheap. That was back in the day. 